Welcome to Rev Extreme. Today we are exploring the exciting realm of motorcycle overlanding where your choice of bike can significantly impact your experience. While many riders tend to choose a larger adventure bikes, there are strong reasons to consider smaller models too. With their agile handling, lightweight design and budget-friendly benefits, smaller adventure bikes present unique advantages that can elevate your journey. Join us as we uncover why opting for a smaller bike could be the best choice for your next great ride. As we pitch in, do subscribe to Revex Stream and stay with us as we bring you the latest updates on the motor world. Choosing smaller motorcycles for overlanding has its own perks, and weight is a significant factor. With a curb weight of around 225 pounds, when fully loaded, these bikes are manageable compared to a heavier option like the Africa Twin, which weighs about 550 pounds. Lighter bikes navigate challenging terrains without sinking into the mud or sand and they bounce over rocks and boulders more easily. Plus, if the bike takes a tumble, you can lift it without any assistance. While faster bikes can tempt us to rush past the stunning sights and cultural interactions, smaller bikes force us to slow down. Sure that there are times when we need to car 500 plus kilometers quickly, but the slower pace of the 125 bikes keeps us off the highway and on the scenic rural routes, enriching our travel experiences. The smaller bikes are low-tech and reliable, making them easy to fix if something goes wrong. With fewer components and basic engines, parts are readily available and mechanics can improvise if needed. We are typically back on the road within a day, avoiding long waits for parts or custom hassles. Sometimes, it's the slow and steady that wins the race as speedier adventure bikes often find themselves grounded for repairs. Affordability is another advantage. Smaller adventure bikes won't break the bank, eliminating the need for a second job to fund your passion. They cost less than an aftermarket skid plate for a MH10 array making adventure touring accessible to anyone with a little cash and a sense of adventure. And if a breakdown occurs, the stakes are low. There is little to worry about regarding the damage or loss. While the smaller bikes are easy to handle, their lower ground clearance can make river crossings tricky. Though we stick to a smaller road, highways are sometimes unavoidable, presenting challenges as we get overtaken by faster vehicles pushing us around in the wind. And let's also not forget that our little adventure bikes were built for city riding. So, they need upgrades for cross-country journeys. And we may end up swapping the street tires for all-terrain ones, replace front suspension oils, and adjust the rear spring to tackle rough roads. Of course, there are downsides. A smaller engine means limited fuel capacity. So, we are always on lookout for gas stations and may need to carry a jerry can for longer stretches. In conclusion, choosing a smaller adventure motorcycle over a larger one is an excellent decision for beginners. Smaller bikes offer greater maneuverability, lower weight and more forgiving power delivery, making them easier to handle in various conditions. They also encourage confidence building as new riders develop their skills without being overwhelmed. Additionally, smaller bikes often come with more accessible seat height and lower maintenance cost, allowing for more enjoyable and less intimidating entry into the world of adventure riding. Ultimately, starting with a smaller adventure motorcycle sets a foundation for a lifelong passion, making every ride an exciting opportunity for growth and exploration.